For feeding a resident, I would get the resident's dietary tray from the kitchen and I want to check the dietary card to make sure it's for that resident, that the consistency of the liquids is correct, and that the consistency of the food is correct according to the diet card and what is ordered. I would sanitize my hands before I get their meal. If they are eating in the room, I would knock on the door. Good morning, Lee, I'm here with your breakfast. Are you ready to eat? I can set that on his tray table and wash my hands again. I also have utensils for him. I'm just gonna pull the curtain so you have some privacy. Okay, I'm gonna sit your bed up, so it's the head of your bed up, so it's a little easier for you to eat. So I wanna make sure that they're at least 75 degrees or higher. Is that comfortable for you? Okay, I'm gonna put the tray table over his bed. You can raise the tray table up. Okay, I'm gonna get a clothing protector on so we don't get anything dirty. So this morning we have some yogurt and toast and eggs, and then we have coffee and water. What would you like to start with? So I would take just about half of a spoonful of food and offer it to them. Give them some time to chew and then offer some fluids in between. Give you your water, is that okay? Okay, would you like some coffee? So I go through alternating the food, asking what they want. Um, and if the person doesn't really respond or if they're nonverbal, you can always offer the food leave it on their lip for each food to be sure that they just weren't not to be sure that they just didn't want yogurt maybe they still want more eggs so if they can't respond keep trying with the other food until they've refused each type of food as well as the fluids okay when he's done I'll take off the clothing protector put that in the linen bag and then I'll look at the meal and document how many ounces that he drank and convert that into cc's and then look at the percentage of food that he ate and document that as well. Um, if he were feeding himself, he could, we should sanitize his hands first, um, but if the resident is fully dependent and I'm doing all the feeding, I just need to make sure that my hands are clean. It's important that I don't touch any part of the food, so if he did have something, um, if I needed to hold the toast for him, I would have to have a glove on. Otherwise, I could cut it, put it on the fork, and then give it to him on the fork, so I don't have to, I can't directly touch the food. Okay. If he, uh, it's a good idea to have residents sit upright for at least 30 minutes after the meal to make sure they digest and they don't have any aspiration concern. So, are you comfortable, Lee? Okay. I'm going to make sure that your bed is lowered and it's locked. I see that you have your call light here. Okay, I'm going to open up the curtain and I'll wash my hands and then I'll take the tray back to the kitchen or wherever trays get returned and then make sure I document what he had in the meal.